Watcher everybody and welcome back to the Zeus Daz on Emulated Retro Game Channel. I am your host Zeus and it is shit game time once again and this time we're tackling Street Fighter, the European UK version on the Commodore 64. This is a paid request by YouTuber Northlander72. Hello mate, how are you doing? Thank you very much for your request. And well, Street Fighter 1, as many of you know, that was one of my favourite arcade games back in the day because I grew up with it. And I still own the original uh, Jammer machine to this day, sitting in my living room, actually looking over at it right now. Um, yes, but as for the uh, home ports, of course, the infamous Tear Text logo. It's not there right now, but it's Tear Text written all fucking over it. And that is the moment that we all shed our tears when we start finally load up a game of an arcade game that we really like. And the dreaded Tear Text logo pops up. We know all our dreams, all our joys are going to be suddenly ripped apart. Uh, right, so let me see. If I can remember, I've done a shit game time with the Amiga version, and rightfully so. That's pretty much the ST version as well. I've done, definitely done a shit game time of the uh, Amstrad CPC version. Ugly bloody colours that was used in that. I uh, can't remember the DOS version, which is the most unplayable part of shit you've ever played. Um, and this is the UK version. The USA version, uh, I quite enjoy it. Actually, I find it quite funny, and it's got all the special moves. But this hasn't. It's absolutely. It's just a blocky pile of shit. And also, look at this. Look at this menu. F1 multi-load on or off. One of the most fucking pointless options in a game I've ever seen. Basically, what that does is, if you want to keep replaying the first country, the first two characters, you put multi-load off. Now, who the fuck's going to want to do that? Once you pass play the, the second opponent, you want to play the third opponent, don't you? That's what most common sense will be going through most people's mind, wouldn't it? Why would you want to go back to the same two fighters? That's the most pointless fucking... I'd love to know what the thinking is beyond that. Who would want to keep playing the first two fighters? I don't understand that at all. Absolute bollocks. Uh, you get three credits, so let's carry on. F3 to start. Go. Oh, no, it's two players. Not F3 to start. What am I talking about? Oh, I can fire. Press that. Oh, there we go. What a blocky pile of shit. And, you know, apart from the scrolling, but is okay, but my god, you can't even hardly see Retsu, the fighter on the left. Look at it, it's just one blocky pile of poo. That's all it is. Absolutely dreadful. And for some reason, like the Atari ST and Amiga version, again, they chose two tunes throughout the game. Each character in the arcade version has a tune of its own. So you have 10 separate tunes. And they just decide to pick Retsus and Birdies. Bird is being a, a pretty good rendition, actually. I'm glad I picked that one, because uh, that's my favourite character streak, that one. And I liked his music, too. But, yeah, why Retzer and why Birdie? Birdie, I can understand. It's a very catchy tune in the arcade. Ugh. But Retzer is quite plain and boring. Well, it's OK, but compared to Birdie's or Eagles, for Christ's sake, or even Jens in the arcade, they're three great tunes. They just picked those two. Uh, look at Retsu, it's just, oh, it looks like something my dog's done in the park. Yeah. Poo valet by fucking tear text. No business in games at all. I don't know what made them think they, did, they were, but they weren't. Maybe they went out to be the most infamous software publisher. Ugh. Look, you can't even see him. It's awful. All the special moves removed. The only thing I will say again is somebody at Tier Text on the Commodore 64 side showed some talent. Their games tended to have uh, pretty good tunes. A Human Kin Machine was the unofficial sequel to this. If you check that out, that's got a good tune as well. Um, but yeah, apart from that, and most of these characters you can just stay on the floor. 
and just keep leg chopping. You can get away with that in real life. It's just, you can't even see Retsu, it's horrible. Come on, you. Come on. Yeah, I thought so. I'm going to take the cowardly way out now. I'm not going to keep doing. There we go. So I've passed Retsu. Um. I. Oh, yeah. Um, the European, uh, the American version is much better. Look at the state of that. What the fuck is that? That's like one massive pixel blown up. Oh, that's like Atari 2600 graphics. Geku, like all the versions, the 8-bit versions, heavily overpowered. Way overpowered for a level 2 fighter. So the multi-load, if you beat this guy, you just go back to Retsu. Who the fuck's going to choose that up? What's the point of that? And you can't really duck with this guy because he throws uh, shurikens at you. So it's best to sort of keep going in with leg drops, but he can knock you out in about three hits. He's, he's way overpowered in, this, in these versions. Got him there. Yeah. Just rough. Well, <laughs> I'm surprised no one nominated this for a shit game time review already, to be honest with you. I'm surprised it's took too long. Uh, it's, it's, it was such a long wait. But, um, yeah, you've got the DOS version, of course, which is the most unplayable part of the shit. I've actually long played that on my channel. And in my view, the next worst version of all time is definitely the Amstrad. Slow, sluggy, no music, and God, you should see the colours that they use on it. You must have burned your eyeballs out. see another country at least I don't want to go through you again oh no, where are you come here stay still while I while I kick you in the bum yeah gotcha oh, look at that He's, uh, if you can make that on the floor it's supposed to be him knocked out awful and then we get the bonus round and my my ad they only included one bonus round Look at that, it's just, oh. Now I know the Commodore 64 is blocky, but that's taking it to a different level. Bonus round, and you've got this horrible, did, 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 this horrible pooey colour cra character against a bright green fucking screen. I don't understand it. Yeah, I didn't even bother. I just couldn't take my eyes off that. Loading, and a multi-load as well. So, yes, a bit more loading here. Um... Just an absolute fucking dreadful game. This is going to take a while to load, so let me just um, uh, pause it for a moment. Oh, here we go. I thought it'd take longer than that. Oh, this is Joe. Oh, we got some corrupt graphics too. Now, in its defence, that's not what it's normally like. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't corrupt like that. It's either the, the disc I'm using, or um, it's just had a funny mare of a time to load in. But I'll um, try. It's a fucking great Chinook helicopter flying over right now. You assholes. Um, bloody great things. They fly 16 fucking miles away and you can still hear them. Right, you just leg swoop. God, these graphics are fucked, aren't they? But as I said, in its defence, it's not like that normally. It's just obviously the way it's loaded in. Uh, just awful. Yeah. Um... And also, another thing again, as I've mentioned in my previous shit game times of Street Fighter 1, they obviously programmed this from the fucking copy board. Because they put China, the fourth country, when it should be the third country. Basically, the, the next country that follows America in the arcade version is uh, China. But in these versions, 8 bits and 16 bits, it's uh, England. So they've got the countries the wrong way around. You done. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. I don't know how much longer I'm going to play this. I could end up long playing it. I think the only other character which is hard to get. Oh, look at that. What the fuck is that lump of graphic? Terrible. Yeah, it looks like a. Like I said, a, 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 it looks like a. a 
I don't know. It looks like a feces with braces on it. Oh, and this is Mike. Again, the background graphics are corrupt on this loader. I don't know why. Because in fairness, I will say, the backgrounds, especially in the uh, Spectrum, are drawn very well, very detailed. But it's whoever, whoever coded it, whoever whoever put the fucking the, the character AI and... and uh, yeah, the dimness of these characters are really questionable. And the playability. 16 bits mainly as well, if you take a look at the RST and Amiga version. The Amiga version is just abominable. I can't understand. Such a great computer could do much better than what they came up with. Right, so, yeah, you can't do any special moves. In the US version, you can. You just select sweeper up to a point. I know when you're going to jump too, which is annoying. Oh, thought he's going to take a low swipe at me then. Bit of a time delay as well. Gotcha. So now it would normally be China, but it's going to be England. Awful. Right, let's have a go at this bonus round. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Rubbish, rubbish. Oh God, look at that. Yeah, let's go for it this time. Okay, awful. So, I think it's, uh, yes, it's England this time. Should be China, but it's England. So we're going to be facing Birdie, who is my all-time favourite character in Street Fighter 1. Yeah, it's just, ah, the graphics, at least the graphics are back to normal, but again, the background's quite nice, I don't know what about the black sky though, it should be blue, um, Birdie's got a hell of a tan there, um, and he's stuck with Retsu's music instead of the bloody Birdie tune. So you never get away with Birdie on the arcade doing this, it just levels you into it. Oh, Mr. Punk Walker. Come on. Ah, come on. Oh, that was a hell of a punch. Oh, I finally got him. Yeah. Oh, it's just the hell it. I don't know. I can never. Yeah. I can just never ever accept how or why. Or you know, they've got it in their bonnets. TSX has all the programmers that think they can actually program games. I mean, you could say, well, why didn't you try Zeus? You think you could do better. I never claimed to be a programmer, but these did. And they, they buffed up a load of shite most of the time really did I mean they did a few good spells I think they did 720 didn't they that was pretty good if I remember right yeah the big birdie look uh, so Street Fighter 1 the backgrounds are drawn pretty nice Rolling Thunder I think uh, played reasonable I think on the spectrum Eagle yeah so all of the um Characters, skin tones are pooey brown. Again, five of the backgrounds are missing. Eagle would normally be standing in front of a castle. You just be, no, no, just out of range. Yeah, and there's no point def uh, defending yourself, won't do either if you engage just. 
yeah, if you sit down with your, your arm up in the air, defending, you can just get through. None of it works. So practically through the halfway through the game here. I don't really want to go long play this part of shit. Ah, eagle. So this is Birdie's music. But I'll tell you what, I'm glad, for me anyway, I'm looking at it through a CRTV screen. But if you were playing this on Emulator, oh, the blockiness. It's even multiplied. That's all you do really, you just take your chance, you keep jumping in and taking your chance. That's quite a big hit. Oh, I was just about to say, no, 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 he's got him. Ugh. See, the music's all right. It's just a pity they've only chosen two tunes out of the whole game. Ugh. Same bonus round again. Boring. Ugh. Against the green, horrible background. Disgusting. So now what normally would be England is China. And these two characters are a bit harder to hit because you can't leg sweep them as much. The, the collision detection is way off. Right. Uh, bloody China failed to load, so I had to load in another crack version of it. So I can't even see him at all. This is Lee. Um, so you can't leg sweeping like the other one yeah the bloody disc crash so uh, that's why my score even though I'm sure none of you are taking any notice of my score at all well notice it doesn't um, the continuity is there now so you can hardly connect with this guy unless you land right on top of him which is bloody stupid see I'm hardly connecting with him at all you can hardly see him No way I'm going to long play this. So what I might do is um, use the skip button so at least you can see each enemy. Oh god, I ain't got time to. Come on, I can't even. You can't even leg sweep him on these ones. His connection's terrible. Oh, that's enough elite. Let's get on with the next character. The old skip button there. Go straight to Jen. Uh, uh. Yeah, so all in all, all versions are missing five of the backgrounds. They're missing eight of the player tunes. Special moves have all been removed. Yeah. Pretty shit. My ZX Spectrum Zeus edition is pretty cool though because um, I've intertwined the arcade soundtrack to it, so check that out. Street Fighter 1 Zeus Edition. Now look at this guy. I mean, in the arcade he's got a completely grey beard. But again, the AI of the characters are just dim. They're halfway across the screen and they're doing all their moves. You're nowhere near them. Why would you do that? Imagine watching MMA or something like that, and he, the guy's at the other side of the octagon, and he's doing all these moves. It's like, what are you doing that for? Save your energy. Well, I think that's enough of China. Let's get on with the last show, shall we? Let's get on with Thailand. God, can't even make sense of him. We're on to Adon and Sagat now. And we're going to end it with those two characters. Just show you a bit of each and get on with the shitometer because um, I can't really take much more of this. Um, I just don't, I don't want to give Tirtex any kind of, I don't know, plus acknowledgement 
good acknowledgement that I'm taking time to play it. No, I'm playing it because it's on a shit game time, boys. Well, relevance in programming is in some light. So here we go, add on. Again, not bad backgrounds. See, blue background, that's what should be on the birdie stage. No ending. I put an ending in the ZX Spectrum version, Zoos Edition. God. Ah, oh, come on then. There you go, gotcha. Unless you got, know how to pull off the dragon punches in the arcade version, you're 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 very ready to get past this guy. You need dragon punches with this guy. He's lethal. Right. No, we're not playing another round of you. Let's go on with Sagats. Let's press that little magical button there. £9.99 original release, £2.99 on uh, re-release budget, which it should have been the same for that price when it was originally released. Oh shit. And £14.99 I believe on disc. <laughs> yeah. But the beautiful thing is you had the American version on the other side. And that was pretty funny. It's pretty cool. So here we go. Sagat. <sighs> He's throwing psychos at me. It's just leg sweep sweep you. Oh dear, oh dear. There you go, they're all gone. And Saga is nowhere near that easy in the arcade. Look, I didn't even lose a bit of energy there. Yeah, no ending, just loops back to bloody Japan. I think that'll do. There's nothing else to fucking show. Oh, I've got infinite energy. I didn't put that cheat on. It must have come with a thingy. No wonder he's not taking any energy from me. Oh well. Um, yeah, anyway. Ah, I'm just going to leave it there. Fuck it. Um... Yeah, boring. Just abysmal. Blocky as fuck. So what am I going to give this? Well, it's tier text. Um, absolute bullshit. It's overpriced. The backgrounds are nice and the tunes are okay, but it's all down to the playability, isn't it? It's all down to the enjoyment of actually how the game plays, and this isn't enjoyable. Uh, Geki for a start off. The second player is far too... Um, overpowered and um, as I said five of the backgrounds are missing eight of the tunes are missing there's only one bonus round it doesn't have an ending on it there's no special moves let's just fucking get on with it and as I said it's overpriced and it's tier text so I'm going to give this a I'm going to give that 84 shits on the shitometer 84 shits on the shitometer and as usual when it comes up with a tier text game you deserve this that's to all of you at tier text directed at you on behalf of all the kids back in the day that bought your shitty games uh, because of they were suckers or because of your lying your advertisement for instance for showing arcade pictures and stating it's an atari st screenshot what the fucking bollocks that was um, which resulted in me giving me the push to fork out for an Atari ST thinking I was going to get a really good arcade version of Street Fighter 1. What a load of fucking... What a, what a load of wankers you are. Ask yourself this question. Why were you in the business of gaming? Because you shouldn't have been. Why did you give up your day job to do these games? You, you, you're mad. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. That's to you. And you deserve it. And you know you deserve it. So there you go, 84 shits for Street Fighter 1, UK version on the Commodore 64. Please let me know below in your comments what you think of this particular version. And of course, be free to feel 
to share your thoughts about tier techs and uh, if you're unfortunate to buy any of their crappy games i'm sure we all like to hear about it that's it for this edition of shit game time please join me next friday please subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so you know when my next videos are going to come up every friday is a shit game time and uh, top left hand corner will be a video for you to name your games uh, accompanied with three in fact i'm probably going to put uh, three street fire one videos for you to check out the shit game time of the atari uh, the amiga version the Amstrad CPC and on a good note the good version of the ZX Spectrum Zeus edition Street Fighter 1 so check that out that's got the arcade soundtrack and I've touched it up with a end sequence too so if only a bit of music and the ZX Spectrum version a bit of AY would have done uh, the world of um, goodness but nobody there obviously have a clue how to fucking program the ay soundtrack because very rare was there any arcade any ay tunes in any of those zx spectrum games it was all 48k multi-load shit okay until next week thanks again for joining me on this little bit of a longer shit game time but it's tier text fuck them uh, they deserve to be slandered longer don't they see you next week zeus out of shitsville